Hi guys, my name is Gina James Cole and welcome to episode 9 of Mean Girls Sorority Rush. Last episode, they made the final cuts for the sorority and we managed to get in, but unfortunately, so did Regina, so... Looks like we might be spending a lot of time with her this year, but let's get started on this episode. Katie, how's Africa? It's good. Good and hot. Even my sweat is sweating. I'd love to go to Africa. How's Rush? I got into Delta Muta. Oh my god, that's amazing. Congrats, Skinoid. Thanks. Hopefully I can get in when I get back. Then we'll be sisters. That'll be so awesome. Hey, really sorry, but I gotta go. There's an elephant giving birth and I have to see this. Have fun. Why are you standing around? We're about to have our first official house meeting. I really need to study for my history of theatre quiz. Studying can wait. It's Delta Mutau time. Hmm. Listen up everyone. We couldn't be more excited to welcome our five newest sisters to Delta Mutau. <laughs> We've got a big year coming up. Parties, formals, the annual slip and slide. But unfortunately, it's not all good news today. I thought we were saving this till the end of the meeting. Is this what Janice was talking about? Let's just get it over with tomorrow. What's going on? The sorority is broke. What? But tomorrow I promised we could buy a hot tub this semester. We're having trouble paying our bills due to a dip in income. How did we pay for them before? We've had an anonymous donor for years. He always makes a massive donation, but this year he just stopped. Why? Nobody knows. Tamara has been trying to get him to change his mind, but he hasn't budged. This house is really expensive to maintain. Without the annual donation, we might have to give it up. A sorority without a house? Where are we going to host events? The dorms? No! <laughs> They're crawling with fungus, and no one wants to wear shower shoes for another three years. Uh, Dakota's gone. We are not losing the house because I have a plan. I knew you would. The key to our future relies on us working together as a sisterhood and winning the Greek games. What's that? Six houses compete in a series of three events. We get points for how well we do and we can get bonus points for team spirit. The winning house gets a cash prize. Is it enough to save the house? It is, at least for the rest of the year. Then we have to win. Exactly, we rock the games and take the cash. And we don't bathe in the sketch communal showers anymore. The first event is a biathlon, running and swimming. Perfect, I'm happy to do it. I'm a great swimmer, but not as good as me. Plus, I look better in a bathing suit. So much for being sisters. Really, I've done a lot of swimming and I've seen you play lacrosse and you're a great runner. I've seen you run for the mac and cheese tray at the cafeteria, she's such a cow. You're fast. Regina, you're acting really childish. Enough ladies, we're getting sidetracked. Regina can swim and Greenoid can run track. We have to win, you guys. My parents are so proud of me for getting into this sorority. We are going to win, Emma. Let's just hope Greenoid doesn't blow it. <sighs> One last thing. Since we're trying to limit our spending as much as possible, we won't be able to order you guys Delta Mutau t-shirts for the Greek games this year, which is a big disappointment because they really make us feel like a team and we'll lose spirit points for not having uniforms. No money for t-shirts? Gross, we really are poor. Maybe I'll just buy them for everyone. Hmm, maybe she will. I don't think she will. If Regina buys everyone t-shirts, she's going to be the hero of the house. Uh, buy the t-shirts before Regina does for 20 gems. Let Regina save the day. We have gems, so we may as well spend them and buy some t-shirts. 20 gems this costs. For buying everyone t-shirts, you unlock the outfit Delta Mutau t-shirt in the closet. Nice. Actually, I'm going to buy Delta Mutau t-shirts for everyone. What the? 
I said I was going to buy them first. No, you said maybe you'd buy some. Greenoid actually stepped up to the plate and volunteered. Let's give a huge round of applause for Greenoid, everyone. Yay! The you smiling, what's all going on there? As you all know, the pillars of Delta Mutau are integrity, charity and sisterhood. And Greenoid's clearly taken that to heart. Yay! I feel like I wanna, can I get changed? Have I got new clothes here? Yeah, welcome to your closet. I've never, I've just completely interrupted the episode. Just because, right, um, I want, let's have a look. I'm fed up with this outfit. <laughs> yeah, I want to wear this. Yes, wear this. Quick change. We love you, Karen. Karen? Welcome to the KSPN, the College Sports Network, created by and starring me. Karen Smith to report on all things sport and fashion. I'm here at the Evanston Greek Games for the first big event, the Biathlon. And I'm about to interview Delta Mutai's swimmer, Regina George. Hi Karen! What's with the jewellers behind you? <laughs> we wear pink in honour of Karen's phone. <laughs> Speaking of fashion, why are all the girls from your sorority wearing those triangle shirts? Oh look, it's the name of our sorority, Karen. They told me that Greeno Gemsical bought them for your whole house. She sounds nice. I want her to buy me a t-shirt. Whatever. Thanks Regina, back to you Bob. Who's Bob? It's what you say at the end of an interview. <laughs> kind of isn't really, but hey. Oh, she looks nice. Okay, I've not got my new outfit on anyway, but never mind. <laughs> Gretchen, what are you doing here? Competing, of course. For what sorority? I've started my own. Wait, what? It's called Gamma Gamma Gretchen. <laughs> Do you have any other members? For now, I'm an army of one. Bless her. Well, today, since I'm swimming, I'm more of an, I'm more a navy of one. Tell Gretchen she can't do this. Encourage her. Let's encourage her. That's really cool, Gretchen. I agree. Brody, we're looking for members in case you wanted to join. Thanks, but I'm a dude. Brody's kind of taken, Gretchen. Besides, how can a sorority have male members? Gamma Gamma Gretchen is breaking the mold, Damien. We're the sorority of the new millennium. The Fetch sorority. You know I'm always ready to make Fetch happen. Fetch is never going to happen. <laughs> That's Regina. Gretchen, you can't compete on your own. My dad created a revolutionary type of strudel. You'd be surprised what wieners can do. <laughs> oh, I'm fully aware. What about you, Brody? How do you feel about them? Good idea. I'm going to get a hot dog. Are you flirting with my frat bro? Why not? He's cute. Dream on. Hey little brother. Hey big brother. <laughs> if you excuse me, I'm gonna go see if I can get Brody to apply some sunscreen to my back. Cameron's here. Regina and Greenoid will become BFFs before I let that happen. Hey, hey. Pretty cool what you did buying t-shirts for the girls in your house. Not everyone would just offer to do that. Thanks Cam. So, about me and Tamara, why didn't you tell me they were dating? Mmm, it's no big deal. Uh, I'll just say it's no big deal. It's not a big deal, Cam. Just please hear me out. When you and I met, Tamara and I weren't together. We're kind of on again, off again. And right now, I guess we're on. Oh, I really like you, Green-Eyed. And I want to be friends. So can we? Oh, here's Mika. Hey Greenard. Mika, you came. I wanted to wish you luck. Cameron, this is Mika. This is your boyfriend. This is the guy who paid to go on a date with you. <laughs> nice swimsuit, bro. I'm swimming in the biathlon. We should go check on Regina. What's the rush? Don't you want me and Cam to get to know each other? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I'm sure we have tons in common. What's that supposed to mean? 
it was a joke. <laughs> Maybe if you start flexing, you'll be able to detect sarcasm. <laughs> you calling me dumb, dude? Not in so many words. Mika? Right, I'm dumb. You're just some intellectual fighting the good fight. <laughs> what is it, student paper, band? Oh wait, you're not a pretentious film school know-it-all, are you? Cam? As a matter of fact, I am in the film school. Not surprised, you seem like a self-righteous egomaniac. Stop it, both of you. <laughs> tell Mika he's been a jerk, tell Cam. You gotta stick up for Mika really, haven't you? He's the boyfriend, uh, so tell Cam he's been a jerk. Cam, you're being a real jerk. He's the jerk. It's not good. Let the games begin. And there we go, there's the end of episode nine. So next episode, we are gonna start these games. We'll see what happens between Mika and Cam. They obviously, they don't get along. We're stuck in the middle of that little one. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.